The people of Nanaimo have stepped up to help an Ontario family whose story we first brought you Wednesday on Vancouver Island Report. They arrived in the Harbour City Monday, eager to see their new rental property and start a new life. But when they unlocked the front door at 787 Albert Street, they say they found a home that was uninhabitable, covered in mold infested by rats and bed bugs. They had paid the damage deposit and first month's rent in advance. And with very little money and nowhere else to go, they feared they could end up homeless. A News reporter Steve Coulterman has an update on their story and the outpouring of community support. A warm welcome from a stranger for a family in need. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, oh, thank just... you. Paula first learned about this couple's rental nightmare on the news last night. They came to Nanaimo from Ontario with their kids and their pets, hoping for a fresh start. Instead, they found the home they had rented was uninhabitable. As soon as she saw their story, Paula knew what she had to do, extend an invitation for the entire family to stay in her home. I always say... Love is never divided. It always multiplies. And I believe that. And welcome to my home, and it'll be your home. Thank you. And I'm more than happy that you're here. The generosity from a complete stranger fills Penny Sandifer with emotion and gratitude. It's just overwhelming and grateful someone would open their home up to us. Somebody that doesn't know us, so. And she's so sweet. Room by room, Paula takes the couple on a tour, asking nothing in return for the accommodation, except that they accept it and stay as long as they need to. You don't ask people for anything other than be themselves, make themselves at home. Overwhelmed, I'm shocked, I'm thankful. Um, her house is nice and, and for her to open up the door and, and allow us just to come in and absolutely amazing. It's a light at the end of a very dark tunnel for this family since they first laid eyes on their rental home on Elbert Street Monday. The city has stepped in and declared it uninhabitable. A News first brought you their story Wednesday night, and since then, offers of support have been pouring in from all over Nanaimo. I would hope that one of those homes would become our home because we would love to be a part of people that are so generous. While visiting with Paula, the couple receives more good news, a message from landlord Michael Lipnitsky. He says he has returned their first month's rent and damage deposit. To confirm the transaction, Penny logs in. And sure enough, her wish has come true. The $1,800 is back in her bank account. The $600 and the $1,200 is there. It's there. He returned it. Well, I appreciate that he returned it. I really do. I don't know what they were thinking. I know that I stood firmly and confidently on the terms of our agreement, and I have provided all necessary consideration to all uh, to, uh, to, uh, and, and provided to the best of my knowledge, the best information. I have been honest and true and straightforward. It wasn't the arrival they imagined, but the couple says the community's generosity is already making Vancouver Island feel like home. In Nanaimo, Steve Coulterman, A News.